Hi, and welcome to Bremster Puzzles, and welcome to the fourth Sudoku takeout pack. This is a pack we're calling Trivalent Sudoku, and this is an anti-diagonal pack. And this was basically, many of the puzzles in this were created at the same time as the previous Sudoku takeout pack, Transverse Sudoku, which was a diagonal Sudoku pack. And of course, that's available in the collections page, um, which will be linked to below. But um, as will this pack, you'll be able to download this entire pack the minute this first video is available, hopefully. Um, but um, the point of this pack was we were making diagonal puzzles and we realized that some of the logic we did would work better as anti-diagonal puzzles. So we started making anti-diagonal puzzles at the same time as we were making the diagonals and then made other diagonal puzzles instead. And we thought, let's just make the next pack an anti-diagonal pack. And that's what we've done. So we're starting with um, what we hope is an introductory puzzle that will show you how anti-diagonal works. This one is called Apple Peel by Maggie and Bremster. We have a few guest solvers, uh, cre sorry, guest creators um, for this pack. Um, and yeah, hopefully you enjoy what we have for you. Um, of course, there'll be a link below in every video for where you can get the puzzle for yourself. But as I said, the entire pack should be available in links below as well. Um, let's just get straight into it, explain how anti-diagonal works so you can get in and enjoy the puzzle. So what do we have? We've got normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. And then anti-diagonal, which is each of the main diagonals on in the puzzle may only contain three distinct digits. So if you ever wanted to place a fourth type of digit on the main diagonal, you're breaking the rules. So unlike diagonal, where each you may not repeat digits, these you must repeat digits because only three different digits on each of the main diagonals. Um, so with these packs, before I get on to, rest uh, to starting the puzzle, with these packs, um, these are released completely for free. However, um, I do try and do it is the concept of a pay what you want for the packs. There are only a dozen puzzles, um, but um, there is using my Kofi link, which is in the pack or in the links below. Um, I think a couple of bucks would be nice. Zero is perfectly fine. Um, anything over $5 and you're probably overpaying for, for 12 puzzles. But uh, the whole concept is pay what you want for the pack. Um, and as I said, zero is perfectly fine. Let's give this one a shot, shall we? So um, how do we want to look at this? So let's start with some Sudoku. I often find that is good. So three can't go in any of those, three can't go in any of those. So three in box five is in one of those two, but because of this three, we have to put three in one of those three cells. So that has to be the three, and this is not the three. Three is in one of those two for the same reason, and that three is saying it's not there, that is the three. We have to put one in one of those two for the same reason, and this one is saying one's not there. So this is the one. Similarly, one is in one of those two, and the same one is saying it's not there, so this is the one in box nine. Okay, now, Two. We have to put two in on each of these di or in each of these diagonals. So two is in one of those two. Two is in one of those three. Don't see how to narrow that down. Four is in one of those two, and four is in one of those three. But the four can't be there. Okay. No. So this can't be a four. Um, yeah, this can't be a four, because if this is a four, that would have to be a four, because then I'd have to put four there and there, um, because four would then, this would be one, three, four, and this would have to be one, three, four. So four can't go here or here. So this has to be the four on the diagonal, uh, on this diagonal. So the four that is here can't go here, and it can't go here, because a four here would be put here, which doesn't work. And that puts four in one of those two. Maybe I should look at some more Sudoku. Oh, this four says that's not the four, and that's the four. Not sure about the two, though. But these are the same digit. Those three there are all the same digit. Okay. Seven and seven means seven's not in any of those. That seven says that's not a seven. That's a seven there. So seven is down here. I can't put seven on the diagonal. So seven is in one of those two. Right, similarly, seven and seven isn't in any of those. Seven can't go on the diagonal, so seven is one of those two. So where's seven in this row? Can't put seven in any of those. Can't put seven in any of those. Can't put seven in those. That's a seven, which puts seven in one of those two. But that seven looks across saying that's not the seven. That's the seven. Okay. What can these be? They can, can't be one or three. They can be two. They can't be four. They can't be five. They could be six. They can't be seven. 
They can't be eight and they can't be nine. These are only two or six. Where is eight in this box? I can't put eight on this diagonal because that would mean this would have to be an eight and it can't be, and I can't put eight there. This is eight. So these are two, six, and nine. So this can only be six or nine because I've already got the two and the other digit has to be six or nine. And that is telling me that is a six. So this is a two, six on the diagonal, and this is a nine. And this is a two, six on the diagonal. So that's a two six pair, that's a two six pair. Ooh. That digit can't be there. This has to be the yellow digit because this digit is the same as that digit, but it can't be the same as that digit. So this is the yellow digit and these are the same digit. Oh, the six looks up, meaning these are all two and these are both six and that's the anti-diagonal done. Cool. And I don't mind the anti-diagonal being done quite quickly because this is supposed to teach the concepts of how anti-diagonal work. Now, hopefully the Sudoku will flow well. One is in one of those by Sudoku. He's hoping the Sudoku flows well. Three, three, three is in one of those two. That three is looking up saying not there. That's the three. One is looking up saying one's not in one of those. One is in one of those two. Nine is in one of those two. Mm, nope, okay. One is in one of those two by Sudoku, but the one is looking down saying not there. So that's the one looking up saying that's not the one, that's the one. One is in one of, this is a one, four pair. Because one, four, one, four, four, and one means that's a one, four pair. So what are these digits? Eh, no, that's too many. What about here? Four, five, and six. These are four, five, and six for the row. There's no six there. So six is in one of those two. There's no four there. This triple, two, five, six. Well, I know two is in one of those two. This triple, two, five, nine. Well, that's not two. That's five or nine. That's not two. That's two. This is a five or a nine. That's not a two anymore. So two is in one of those two and it's not there. So this is the two. So one, two, three, four, five. These are five and six. So this is five, six or nine because of the one, four. Three is in one of those two because of the three. Oh, this is three, eight. Because eight can't be in any of those. This is a three, eight. Five looks up saying that's not a five, and this is a six nine, because those are a set of digits. So that is a six or a nine. This row, three, five, eight. There's no three there, so that's a five or an eight. That's a three or a five. I'm not really finding the Sudoku. Three is in one of those two. Having done all the anti-diagonal, Six and six put six in one of those two, but that six says not there. That's the six, meaning this is the nine, meaning this is the six, meaning that's the five, meaning that's the nine, meaning that's the five, meaning that's the six. The nine means that's not the nine, that's the nine. These, one, two, three, four, five, eight. Yeah, not sure. Four is now in one of those two. That can't be a four because of that. That can't be a four. So four is in one of those two, making that the one and that the four, meaning that's not the one, that's the one. This digit is the nine that hasn't been placed. So these are nine. Two, three, four, two and five. Those are two and five, meaning that's the four, taking four out of there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are eight and nine. Okay. The five is making that the two and that the five. So one, two, three, there's a four in one of those two. These are four, eight, and nine. There's no nine there. There's a four in one of those two. This is a five or an eight. To complete the box. This row, four, five, and seven. 
that's not jumping out at me either. Hmm. These are four. Oh, there's no four there. That's because of that four. So that's the four. This is a five or an eight. Nine is in one of those two by Sudoku because of these nines. Two. Where's two in this box? Two, 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 and two makes that a two. Three in this box now. Yeah, three in this row. It can't be here, so it's one of those. That three says it's not there, so that's a three. This is now four, eight, or nine. And it can't be four. This is an eight, nine pair. Also feels like it hasn't done very much, doesn't it? Six is in one of those two. That six says it's not there. So that's the six looking up, making that five and that the six. The five looks up, making that the eight, that the five, looking across, making that the eight and that the five, looking down, making that the three, making that the eight, that the three, the eight looks across, making that the five. The three says that's not the three. So this is eight or nine for the column. This is seven, eight, nine. That's not a nine. Or, no, 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 no. Eight in this column can't be in this box. That's the eight. That's the nine. This is the. Nine that hasn't been placed in the column. That's not a nine. One, two. These are five and seven. And the five makes that the seven and that the five. This isn't the seven. This is the seven. This box. One, two, three, four, eight. So we can put in the eight and the four. The eight looks up making that the four, taking the four out of there. This is the eight, nine, and I'll use that eight to make that the nine and that the eight. And that's better. Um, yeah, that's much better. Um, so yes, um, that had much better flow to it. Um, once I, I, I nearly made this a seven, eight, nine triple but with an eight in the box, and that would have gone terribly wrong. But the whole point of this puzzle was to hope, um, help people understand with the digits given on these diagonals how anti-diagonal was supposed to work, with these having to be 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and 2, 4, 6, 2, 4, 6, 2, 4, 6. Um, and hopefully you would discover what those digits were and then be able to flow from those. That was the plan. Hopefully that worked. As the puzzles will continue, you'll need to use the anti-diagonals more and more, particularly when we kick into the variants. I think there's only two puzzles in this in this pack which are pure anti-diagonal. Those will be the first two. Um, and yeah, we'll see how it all goes. Hopefully you'll enjoy it all. Thanks everyone for watching. And as always, good luck with your solving.